Well, welcome Scorpios and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message week commencing Monday the 1st of March through to Sunday the 7th of March 2021. I've already pulled your crowning wisdom, your crowning message cards and your crowning wisdom message cards. Let's have a look and see what they're telling us at Scorpio. All right, for your first crowning message, we have assessing. OK, and then we have peace and gratitude. OK, so Scorpios, the Scorpios that I am reading for um, this week, uh, I feel as though you're being guided um, to assess your current situation. OK, um, and I feel that you're being guided to uh, look at things from a different perspective. You may be in a bit of a dream world at the moment, kind of in your thoughts, wishing, manifesting, uh, praying um, for a positive outcome. And I feel as though you're being guided to know that it's time to take a closer look at your perceptions, at what it is you're truly seeing, okay? And with this peace card, I feel as though, uh, Scorpios, you're being guided to hold your peace, okay? If there is negativity around you, whether it's within yourself or other people that are influencing your thoughts, okay, around a situation that you're being guided to take a different perspective at, I feel as though you're being guided to uh, disregard any negativity. Surround yourself with that ball of light, okay, from divine spirit universe, your higher selves. And as you do so, I feel as though you'll be very, very grateful as to what it is that you are being guided to see. It's as though as you go through the process of assessing your current situation, releasing any negativity, okay? It's time to release negativity, Scorpios. I feel as you do that, uh, Scorpios, you're going to be entering into a phase of absolute gratitude, giving thanks for looking at things from a different perspective, holding your peace and basically releasing any kind of negativity, um, whether that's people around you that's influencing your thoughts, um, influencing your actions in some shape, form or another. Um, I feel as though uh, this week, as you look at things um, for yourself, uh, you are going to uh, release it as though you're going to see things from a very, very different perspective. And as you do that with your crowning wisdom message, the sun dancers, joyful activity, celebration of life, abundance, you're going to start celebrating um, life. Uh, whoever you are connected to, it feels as though, Scorpio, whoever you are connecting with, um, I feel as though you weren't sure about them. And you're being guided this week to really assess that. And you may have not been sure about them because there may have been outside influences um, almost kind of like, I almost kind of hear people saying, you know what, well, no, this person isn't, isn't going to come full you know, uh, th this person isn't for real or this person isn't going to come forward. Um, maybe the two of you are too different. And I feel as though you're being guided to hold your peace and allow divine spirit universe to assess with you what it is you've been co-creating with this person. Because actually, I feel as though there's a lot that you may have not seen because you've been in that world of dreaming imagining, wishing, praying, and then in reality, you've got people around you or even yourself um, just almost kind of poo-pooing the connection, um, you know, and I feel as you assess, look at things from a different perspective, go within and allow your spirit team to guide you, to hold your peace, to release any negativity. You're coming out the other end of feeling extremely grateful. And I feel with the sun dancers coming in as your alleys, you are going to be celebrating this connection. Um, taking positive action, I feel, um, towards what, what it is you want, regardless of 
what anybody else is saying, regardless of fear or doubt or anxiety or feeling lack. Um, I feel as though you're you're going to be stepping in the right direction and your spirit um, team is coming in with the alley of sun dancers to celebrate um, the fact that you're seeing things from a different perspective. And the eyes of beauty, positive expectations, clarity, absolutely. And again, this is all about seeing things from a different perspective. I feel as though uh, the Scorpios that I am reading for you, I feel as though your vision has been clouded with whoever you are connecting um, with, okay? It's as though either your own insecurities has clouded your judgment, um, or there have been people that have influenced you that you've taken on board. Um, quite frankly, I don't think they really, they may have been operating out of your own interest, but I, I almost feel as though people might have been jealous around you. And I feel as though the wisdom that is coming in for you is realising actually only you can assess the situation with the person that you're connecting to yourself. Only you can go within and really look deep um, as to what it is, A, you've been co-creating with Divine Spirit Universe and B, what it is you are um what 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 perspective what what is the perspective you're seeing of this situation is it clouded is it um is it unaligned um you know is it almost feels as if it, it is divine spirit universe delivering your wishes dreams and aspirations but actually you're not seeing it because you're holding on to negativity you're allowing people to come in um and influence your thoughts um, and I feel as though this week uh, you're being guided with the wisdom, expect positivity, expect clarity, and that is what you will be given. And I feel as though you are going to do that because you are definitely giving thanks, giving praise. And I feel as though you're holding your peace for sure, because that's what you're being guided to do. And with the rainbow print, another really beautiful um, card for you, uh, Scorpio, compensation, perseverance. I feel as though you've gone through a phase, um, almost, um, almost kind of wishing, hoping, praying, manifesting. And you remember what I just said? It's as though divine spirit has been has heard your prayers your your manifestations your intentions has given it to you but you haven't actually really seen it and that's why you're being guided to really assess um what it is you're actually seeing because you have been rewarded your answers um, answers to your prayers, um, your wishes, your dreams are upon you. And I feel as though, uh, Scorpio, um, seeing, I, I feel as though you're, you're, you're definitely positive people, but maybe when it comes to matters of the heart, um, whether you've been let down or gone through real heartache, it's almost as though subconsciously, you may hold a lot of resentment or negativity to uh, around love in general. It's like you don't trust very easily, but somewhere along the line, you have really tried to do some of that shadow work, okay? Really looking within and figuring out what is it you really want? What is it you need to heal? But somewhere along the line as well, there may have been other people that have influenced you and, and just almost fueled negativity, fueled um, uh, lack of trust, um, maybe even fueled, um, you know, doubt, um, anxiety. And I feel as though your own perseverance of assessing stuff for yourself is going to um, 
reap the rewards. It's as though divine spirit universe is rewarding you with this pot of gold and saying to you, do you know what? Well done. You have persevered. You have tried to see things from a different perspective. Um, and I feel as though this week, Scorpio, that that little bit of clarity, that little bit of extra assessing um, your thoughts, your feelings, what you're seeing, both outside influences, internal mechanisms that are creating doubt, fear, anxiety, you're going to be addressing that. And I feel as though divine spirit is coming in and just pouring out this blessing towards you. Really, really beautiful. Okay, uh, Scorpios, if this message is resonating for you already, please feel free to click that thumbs up button. Those of you who um, are returning, uh, thank you so much for your um, support, uh, your energy, your donations. I'm truly, truly grateful. If you are new to the channel, welcome to to you as well. Um, if you would like to know when I'm uploading uh, new messages, please feel free to click that um, subscription button as well. Hope you all get something useful out of this message. All right, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmates of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday the 1st of March through to Sunday the 7th of March 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically? Whoops. Towards Scorpio that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all. As above, so below and all around me. Thank you. All right, Scorpios, let's have a look and see what's going on with you and your soulmate. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me how does, thank you. So we have the Queen of Wands, beautiful. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me how does the, thank you. Wow, we have the Wheel of Fortune, yeah. Whatever perspective you are uh, assessing, changing, uh, Scorpio, this person is also going through it as well. This change, this is meant to happen. My angels, oh, and we have the Empress, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmates of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Feel towards them in love. Thank you. Wow. We have the lover's card. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me how does... Ooh, okay, that flew out on me. Eight of cups. Okay, beautiful. Scorpios, um, you have turned a corner. That's all I can say. Um, absolute positivity. Uh, whatever you needed to release, okay, with regards to the person that you are thinking about, um, you've come leaps and bounds, okay? Um, and I feel as though you have finally clocked it. You finally realised um, that you can't be operating in that place of lack, okay? You definitely see this person as your twin flame, your ultimate soulmate. And I feel as if you are walking away from uh, negativity, all right? Let's start from the beginning. Uh, Scorpios, I feel as though whoever you are connecting with, I feel as though um, you, you, you see this person um, or it could be your energy, male or female. I feel as though, hold on a minute. This is the same person. Thank you. This is the same person. The Queen of Wands and this Empress energy is the same person, male or female. I feel as though, uh, Scorpio, you may see the person that you're connecting with 
as this Queen of Wands energy, somebody that is very passionate, creative, um, independent, beautiful, handsome, uh, free spirited, someone that's very action orientated. And I feel as if you just know uh, assessing this person that they do hold their peace they kind of operate on their own timetable um they they're not somebody um i feel that is easily influenced okay they are very much um action orientated of what they want um you know or, or they make their own decisions that's that's kind of what i i'm i'm gearing at and I feel as though they are somebody that you see as um, that doesn't invite negativity into their life. All right. It's as though you see this person as quite peaceful. OK, somebody that is quite divinely connected, quite grounded, but yet free spirited, very action orientated. And I feel as though you see this person as coming into your life as as um, fate, as fate. It's as though this person is part of your journey, okay? So they, I feel as though, I feel as though you, you see, they see you, okay? Or oh, sorry, you see them as um, your twin flame, your ultimate soulmate, but also as well, you see this person as fated for you. I feel as though they also feel fated to be in your life and I feel as though um, Scorpio whatever you are intuitively picking up with this person that they are quite um, spiritual they're somebody that holds their peace they're very free spirited um, I feel as though you are on the money with this because they are giving thanks they are very very grateful um, for meeting you for for you being in their life they definitely feel as though you are fated to be with each other this wheel of fortune is all about um, being grateful for you, uh, being grateful for the connection, but also recognising, particularly as you see them as a twin flame, they may be picking up the energy that they're outside influences, okay? That is, do you remember what I said? That I, 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 I can't remember which cards it was, but I had picked up that you might have jealous people around you, Scorpios. This person may be picking that up, OK, and I feel as though as you assess outside influences or internal things uh, uh, like fear, anxiety, doubt um, that you uh, don't deserve this person or, you know, how would this person, why would this person want to be with 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 you? I feel as though that's changing. And this person may have picked that up. This person, I feel, is very, very spiritual. All right. And I feel as though their perseverance to stay positive so that you could see the clarity uh, you are this week. And this week they are giving thanks because it's like a, a light bulb moment has happened with you, Scorpio. And you know what? This person is feeling it. OK, um, with this Empress energy, I feel as though both of you, um, again, this is their energy. I feel as though this person does want to build a future with you. OK, you see this person um, strongly coming towards you um, uh, as as this twin flame energy, somebody that you want to build a future with. I feel as though, Scorpio, you see this person as the world you think the world of this person you really really do and i feel as though they feel the world towards they think the world of you as well because they're coming towards you look at their energy all facing towards you on this side scorpio um, and i feel as as in the same way that you may want to build a future have a family um nurture this connection they want the same things too and I feel as though um, you're seeing that 
And that's why you're being guided to assess because it's like you may not have seen that. There may have been a lot of negativity around you, but you are getting it and you're walking away from anything that doesn't serve you. And you're walking towards a positive expectation. You're walking towards clarity. It's as though you are now stepping into your power and celebrating this connection, celebrating the abundance, the gift being grateful that this person is in your life. Beautiful. Let's have a look at your clarifications. My angel, thank you. This person has applied a lot of patience, okay? Um, Scorpio, when it comes to you, um, you could be dealing with Sagittarius or you may have Sagittarius in your chart. Also, Gemini is popping up here. But do you know what? This person has been patient. This person, I think, feel is your twin flame a very very deep deep soul connection um oh, big time you guys were fated to be together and they've applied a lot of patience it's as though they've allowed they've allowed divine spirit through this um stage of almost kind of just keeping their eye fixed on the higher good of this relationship, keeping their eye fixed on their intuition, what divine spirit universe is, is guiding them. It's almost as though divine will and divine planning trumps anything on the 3D, okay? And this person is pretty damn astute to get that. That's why they've been holding their peace. It almost feels as though if you're resonating with this person as a twin flame, it's as though they just knew that you were um, being influenced or there were jealous people around you that you may have um, uh, uh, shared confidences with, okay? Close confidences. I feel as though they were jealous. They were jealous of this connection, okay? And your person that you're connecting to almost just intuitively knew it. So it's like what they've done is they've put themselves, put you and this relationship into a ball of white light to hold their peace and cut out any kind of negativity. But what they've also been doing is trusting, trusting um, that divine spirit will turn that wheel of fortune and help you to see, assess this situation and release any negativity. Wow. Was there a card turned there? No. All right, let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you clarify further? How that, whoa, okay. Well, they obviously want to build a future with you with that uh, 10 of coins. Um, and do you know something? It was at the tip of my tongue. This person might be um, quite uh, financially well off. All right. With that queen of wands energy and that empress energy, this person doesn't want for anything. I feel as though they have created quite a, a, an abundant environment, which explains why the people closest to you, your confidants, um, may have been jealous of this connection. And I feel that's why you're being guided. You need to assess this for yourself and release anything negative, whether it's you or whether it's outside influences. And that's a lot of cards, but they're telling me to take it. And this person with the Four of Cups, uh, Scorpio, has been thinking about you constantly, daily. And remember what I was saying, if this, if you're resonating with this person as a twin flame, because I feel as if you are, I feel as though they just knew, they just knew there was negativity around you. And it's like they have been, like I said, uh, seeking faith, um, guidance, uh, trusting in divine timing, divine planning, trusting that divine will intervene, um, hoping, thinking, wishing, praying um, that, you know, you will see for yourself there's a lot of negativity and they are, they're just, they're just being really grateful. They're just really grateful, um, uh, 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 Scorpio, as you go through this process of releasing the neg negativity and assessing si the situation for your own self without other people interfering, without your ego getting involved, without fear, anxiety, doubt, feeling of lack. Um, this is what this person has been wishing for. 
in order to um uh in order for divine spirit to uh al allow um the divine spirit perfect plan to come into play it's like this person just trusts they're very very spiritual and i feel as though male or female um uh scorpio this person i feel as though this is um this is your energy okay this person sees you as somebody as the king of cups male or female somebody that has got unconditional love and i feel they are grateful for you they they know i feel um that you have been divinely placed into their life for a reason for a season um and that you are supposed to come into union in some shape form or another they've applied patience they want to build a future with you they think about you on a daily basis okay and i feel that they they see they they themselves may be assessing and they see very clearly that you have a lot of love for them okay uh again sagittarius popping out here and I want to say Virgo because we've or, or Scorpio um, with that symbol there. Is it Virgo or Scorpio? Um, but I, I feel as though. Uh, oh, yeah, Scorpio. Yeah, they want to build they want to build a future with you. Seeing you as that king of cups, but you're not speaking it. You're not. You're not saying how wow look at that the wheel of fortune i mean come on uh you can't you ca i mean the wheel of fortune coming out twice um this is a fated connection and do you know what in all honesty scorpio the energy that i'm picking up it's almost kind of like um how could i put it i i just feel really excited i feel yeah this celebration this joy it's almost like aha uh -huh, okay i get it now um on both of your sides it's kind of like you see this person as a twin flame all right this person sees you as part of their future they see you as somebody that is fated that you are meant to uh, connect with that they are supposed to come towards you that they are supposed to build a family with you a future with you oh look at <laughs> Do you know what, Scorpio? I cannot make this up. You strongly see this person as your twin flame. And I feel as though you also see them as fated. Okay. Um, oh, wow. The lover's card coming up twice. I mean, you both could have strong Gemini in your chart. But I feel as though you 100% see this person as your twin flame. And I feel as though they also see you as their twin flame. This person is coming towards you hot and heavy. Yeah, look at that. The six of cups. I feel as though you're nostalgic. You recognize that you have lived many, many lives with this person. Here's your energy again, Scorpio. I feel as though you are now waking up um, matching their energy this is a twin flame connection two lovers cards okay the two uh the the king of wands and the queen of wands and look at that it's as though they're coming towards you and you're ready to receive them okay because it's as though you have uh it's like you've been rewarded for your perseverance of um trying to see the significance of this person in your life because i feel as though you felt them on a big 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 level you know on a very deep level okay but you may not have really understood um how significant this person um is in your life and i feel as though you may have leaned on um confidants friends family and do, i'll be honest with you scorpio i don't feel as if they gave you good Good advice if they said to you you know no ignore this you know it's not going to work out they weren't operating um from a place of your highest interest i feel as if they might have been a bit jealous because this person evidently i feel um could be seen as somebody that's quite abundant financially and then look look at that 
as you walk away from any kind of negativity, you want to fight for this connection. You are making a choice to reconcile. You're making a choice to take action, to move away from any negativity. Boy, has Divine Spirit Universe really been working on you, Scorpio, in a big way? I mean, there's, I can't get any clearer than that. It says, though, Scorpio, this week, you're having a massive aha moment. But this person has always known, they've always known the significance of you in, in their life. But they've applied a heck, heck of a lot of patience. And I feel as though uh, this week, Scorpio, it's it, honestly and truly, this is about you. This is about you releasing anything that's not serving you, whether it's internal stuff, okay, or whether it's e external influences. You could be overworking. You know, you could be turning to like friends, family, loved ones for guidance. You're going to see the clarity yourself. And you know what? As you walk away from negativity, you're going to start celebrating this connection. Because I feel as though your call to action is to fight for this connection. Your call to action is to see the beauty and the positivity with this connection. All right. And as you do so, my days is um, spirit, divine universe pouring out the blessings um, towards you and this connection. I feel with look at that wheel of fortune coming out twice there. Uh, the king, the queen and the king, whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter. Divine counterparts right next to the two twin flames um, a lot of repetitive um, mirroring going on here so I most definitely feel the Scorpios that I'm reading for this week you are connecting with your twin flame no doubt in my mind about that but it's though you've been guided to assess the situation yourself and I feel as if you will do let's con look at that nature Reconnect with nature, feel the sun on your skin, walk barefoot on the grass. Absolutely. And that is part of your process of uh, assessing the situation for yourself. I feel as though you're being guided not to be dependent on other people's advice. OK, also as well, I feel as though you're being also guided to focus on the positivity of this connection connect with your higher self divine spirit universe go go for those long walks you know if you are near an ocean you know go in and sit by the ocean go and swim um uh connect with your creative side uh you know you've got the your energy is coming in as that king of wands male or female so you are quite creative people you're quite action orientated doing people you know you like to do things you, you you're quite positive um and i feel as though you're being guided um with that advice of um of nature nature nurture I don't know. Ah, oh, okay. I don't. Yeah. So you're being. I don't know why the word nurture came out of my my, my mouth. Um, but I feel as though you're being guided to connect with nature, with Mother Earth, your higher self, Spirit, Divine, Universe, so that they can nurture you, so that they can give you the clarity as you assess this connection for your own self. Wow. For a moment there, Scorpio, I thought like, like, can I not read? <laughs> um, but no, that's just my spirit team speaking before me. And, and then we have strength. You have an enormous amount of strength and courage. Remain focused, stand tall and shine. Uh, Scorpio, I feel as though um, it has been a journey for you. OK, and I feel as though whatever your trials and tribulations around love okay life um this person that's coming towards you is 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 a blessing all right give thanks um because i feel as though their energy connecting with you um has helped you find your strength and courage again 
to keep moving forward, to be true to yourself, to trust your own instincts. And if um, the negative influences are your own inner self, such as fear, anxiety, doubt, insecurity, I feel that you're being guided. Connect with nature in, earth, in order for divine spirit universe to nurture you, to help you uh, see clearly that you have the strength and the courage to move forward, to be positive, to um, release negativity. And your final advice, home. It's time to renovate or change something in your home environment or move home. And you know what? I straight away when that came out, this person feels like home to you. And I feel as though you feel like home to them. Um, but also what I am picking up as divine spirit universe uh, gives you that clarity as you follow the advice of connecting with your higher self, remaining positive so that you can see the clarity that actually you have got the strength and the courage to move forward. You may end up um, moving in with each other or changing. Um, I want to say changing countries. I don't know why. Moving to a different country, changing homes. This feels more than renovation in context with this reading. It feels as though you, gosh, okay, thank you. You may actually build a home with this person. And I feel this is going way, way in the future. Whatever you've gone through, Scorpios, you have learned something massive with this person connecting. This person is very spiritual. I feel as though they might be a spiritual healer. But you've definitely made the choice to move away from any kind of negativity and hold your peace. Beautiful. All right, Scorpios, I'm going to leave that there. Beautiful message for you. If this is resonating for you, please feel free to click that thumbs up to the video um, so that it gets pushed out to other Scorpios out there. Also as well, Scorpios, if you'd like to know when I'm uploading um, new messages, you'd like to be notified, please feel free to click that subscription button um, so that you can get those notifications. Also, um, any other information that you may want or need, uh, please check out the description box below, um, particularly if you want to follow me on Instagram or um, you want a quick link to the yearlies. Um, so, uh, yeah check that out all that good stuff is there um i think that's all that i need to say for you scorpios um until next week next weekend next month i'm just sending you loads and loads of love peace and light you take care of yourselves take care bye bye